and here we go upward the next step that we are gonna understand today see he is he's bringing you to completion he is drawing you through all of this and as the soul goes through all of this all these steps he is bringing you to that perfection to that unity with the spirit is drawing you from inside to himself and he is the way the only way in everything about these steps is about the Lord Jesus he is the way we have to find the gospel of Jesus Christ the salvation the word of Jesus the compassion the deliverance the power we have to find Jesus in all these steps it's him that will draw all men unto himself so we are at uh, step five talking about the revelation for the deliverance from the law of sin and death we looked at the nature of the flesh man which is inclined to sin it only knows how to sin um, yes for some people are saying I, I heard the good good teachers teaching this that actually we don't have a sin nature anymore when we get born again we don't have a sin nature and um, I I understand that that you are born as a new creation but you don't have it if you have that awareness and that knowing until you have that knowing then you have to have the revelation that's why the word says in Romans 6 to uh, count yourself dead to sin since he died you died but this is a, a revelation and it's an act of willing the Word of God being in, in agreement with the Word of God I'm not saying that you have to go through the pains and uh, problems and feel every little sin of the flesh so he can be pulled out of your no no that's not what I'm talking about I remember when I started to walk with the Lord um, in the beginning and I found a book of, uh, from uh, Watchman Nee it's a Chinese very special brother very mature um, lots of uh, interesting eastern oriental type of mystical understanding of things um, but very pure very special he died as a martyr in a prison and uh, i was reading through some of his books and i realized that f that flesh that old soul all those weeds and that's something so terrible and I was thinking like um, Romans 7 who can ever get rid of this it's too deceitful that little pride that that little lust the little deception can just sneak in at any level right and um, I, I know that it took some years and I kept looking at that and I stayed clean and I came clean and I always wanted to come to um, a, really into the light of the Lord and there were so many moments of uh, Romans 7 uh, for me 
but I felt that as I was repenting and as I was crying and as I was asking for change and um, I kept coming back I was staying back at that step number four and I realized that this the deliverance has to be in the revelation of the truth I was reading something about the confession of faith something so simple and that's when I got the deliverance because he said if God says this about you to confess means to say the same thing as God says to agree with God what did God say about your sins that they were put on Christ that they were washed by the blood you agree with God what did God say about your flesh that was crucified the ones that are Christ have crucified their flesh and their lusts. It, it's past tense. I was crucified with Christ. Agreeing with God. For me, even if I had so much depth in reading Watch Money and um, Andrew Murray and all these other books, when I read that very simple confession of faith, um, it brought me deliverance it's connecting with the truth see there's there's something that he gave me and listen to this knowing the truth will help you define the good and evil but knowing the good and evil apart from truth will throw throw you inside subjective opinions human opinions that look good but will never lead you to knowing the truth as much as you can debate as much as you can learn and read teachings um, that yeah but that works for you it doesn't work for me that's worse for you better for me all that stuff but when the lord said and you know that you know that you know that's the truth that's deliverance amen that's that's so powerful so psalm 124 really brings that deliverance uh, first five verses keeps talking that God was on our side had it not been the Lord who was on our side disasters would, come, would have come right uh, waters would have engulfed us the stream would have swept over our soul the raging waters would have swept over our soul there is no chance but God is on your side you understand he already provided for your trial for your situation for your battle there is a solution from the Lord hallelujah and we we talked about the the two awareness the consciousness of sin that doesn't see a way out right all it sees that separation all is like have mercy on me lord i don't know how to change let's try this let's try that let's see this maybe this will work and then the consciousness of righteousness which shows you that you are not the sinful nature you are the new creation and therefore you have authority to put to death the old creation and the deeds of the flesh you can do that you have power to do that hallelujah 
And in verse 7, it says something interesting in Psalm 124. It says, Our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken and we have escaped. What is a snare? We talk about escaping. This is a good news. This psalm is about the revelation, right? But it says that you escape, the soul escaped from the snare, like the bird escapes. So to build a snare, the trapper has to make it deceptively attractive for, um, for, the, uh, for, the, for, the, for the bird. And the enemy has to make it for the soul. Um, and when it comes into it, it needs to block all the movements. It cannot fly away. How does it do it? And I'm looking at the soul trapped by the enemy in the Garden of Eden, right? Eve's soul, the woman's soul. So the enemy comes and says, if you eat of this tree, you will be like God. She gave in to that deception because while she probably had an understanding that she was created like God, she did not know that that was the truth. She was already like Him, created in His image. So then the deception was if you do this, you will become this. Do you see deception? All religions, including Christian religion, if you pray more, if you read more, if you stay away from this, if you don't do this, if you try this more and harder, then you will become and I'm telling you, it's like a trap. Absolutely like a trap. Right? Um, whenever we forget that we are born of Him into His likeness, He is one. We are one spirit with Him. Whenever we forget that and we're trying to achieve something, Right? That's when the trap comes in because you are never good enough. You never did enough. Right? Another, another thing that um, I call it the snare for sons. Um, Jesus in the wilderness. He's tempted somehow in a different way was not tempted that make these stones in the bread so you will be a son, so you will be like God. Now, he was tempted the other way around. If you are a son, then do this. If you are a son, then jump. If you are a son, Interesting. The deception, the trap that the enemy is trying to put for the sons is, is not debating who they say they are, who they know they are, but is asking them to prove it. Yeah. And Jesus would not give in. It is written. This is um, very powerful. It is written. Yeah, but you're a son and you can stop this stupid COVID once and for all. Come on. It is written. I'm not 
trying to diminish things that the Lord shows you to do and he is doing through you I'm, I'm, I'm not debating that and I cannot stop it I have no power against truth but if you are in the place of wilderness when the enemy tries to entrap you and start something and you start making those stones and the first one becomes bread and the second one and the third one uh, the third one it's uh, has a problem it's not quite bread it's kind of a, a softer rock <clears throat> joking it's entrapping your soul stay with it is written and that is the power that is the power the last verse psalm 124 our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth our help is in the name of the lord i have help yeah but see that's not happening and it's like in the name of the lord i have help. he is my lord this is the word i know who i am because he said so stay in this it is written it's the power that gets you untrapped or out of the trap and your soul enters the victory be blessed